the most part. It looked like in the past game we put the ball in front of us. I don't know how many yards they ended up with. Um, in the run game, I thought they had. I thought I thought they did a really good job. And you know they had some extra time with the bye week. I thought they had some good run plans. I thought we adjusted well. She had some that got out on us a little bit. Uh, be interesting to see it. But proud of the guys. Coaching staff did an awesome job. Uh, told them the field goal. I thought the guys responded. Maybe one of the most impressive things was to see the, the younger guys and some of the backups get in and, and really continue to play well. With the two picks, uh, with Seven and Amir, just really proud of those guys and proud of the way really all those guys finish the game. We always have a goal to get a fourth quarter shutout, and that's really important to us and to the team. So you can see the older guys were excited and the young guys went and did that. Hey, Jeff, cool. this might not be a time but how much are you enjoying your life in the sense of like, your defense is playing at the top of this game. Uh, the free favors, you know, you're showing up on head coaching boards, lists, and things like that. I mean, is this what you're envisioning? Well, the. The only thing that we really care about right now is the winning and, and the playing good defense and playing good team football. Um, you know, when I took the job here, this is you know, this is why you take a job here. You, you take it to have a chance to win every single game, and you're expected to win every single game. So it's been exciting, and yes, I'm having fun. This is, like I said earlier, this is the most fun that I've had coaching in a long time. I love the guys we coach, I love the coaches we work with, and they're doing a really good job. You mean with the whole defense? Yeah, I think the, one, I think Ryan, if you ask him, he might not say this, but I think he did an unbelievable job preparing the guys in the bye week and then really building up the beginner mentality, the three-step, three-forward, which which was huge. And I, and I think you should get a ton of credit for that. And then, yeah, I, I saw it last night, the way how focused we were in yesterday's practice, and when we woke up this morning, they had a look in their eye. And then in the locker room before I dressed them, and yeah, I... I I felt pretty good about it. This group is special. They, they have an edge. They play with a chip on their shoulder. Um, and, and it's fun to be around them. You said that Northwestern was able to get some runs on you guys. Yeah. Does that allow you to maybe wake your players up a little bit more with this game coming up? I, I don't know if I, I... I don't know. I think that's a good question. I think when we see the film, we'll see why, what happened. Um, and again, like I said to you guys earlier, there's always things we're going to have to work at, and there's always things we're going to have to be better at. So we'll have to watch this film and be even better next week, um, and that's just part of the game. Have you looked at Wisconsin at all? Um, we can talk about that next week. <laughs> <laughs> we, had to, we had to look at Northwestern this week. Yeah, it seems like when, when stuff pops up for you guys, issues on both sides of the ball, you find an answer eventually. Can, can yeah. you just explain a little bit how well the staff communicates with Yeah, I, th I think... Um, I think one of the things that really helps is that Coach Madison's on the field, I'm upstairs. Um, then obviously Coach Washington and Coach Johnson are down there. So it's really me, Sean Duggan, and um, Matt Barnes up there. I, I think at least I can't speak of the offense, but I think defensively it's calm. We look at what happened. We talk about why. We see it pretty well uh, from up there. and We're able to get the answers and make some quick adjustments. Um, and I think we're able to do that today. And it's a credit to get that relay to the players on the field and have them actually do that. So, yeah, it's it's probably been as good as anywhere I've ever been at doing that. And, and that is, that's part of the game, though. You, you, there, there's no halftime adjustment anymore. It's after each series, what's the adjustment? That's the truth. Like, when they say halftime adjustments, half the time I'm like, if we wait till halftime, we're going to get killed. So it's every single series we have to adjust. I, I know you're on different channels than the offensive guys, but you are in the booth with some of them. Do you get any kind of feel for the way they communicate at all? I, no, I don't even hear them, even though they're right next okay. to me. So you'd have to ask that. You guys good? We all? Yeah. That's all you wanted from you guys were great.